Hey, guess what? This is the last video. We're going to cover the remove friend option. When I press remove friend, we want a new window to come down here and give us the option to remove friend if we don't like that person anymore. Okay, now to get that button to say remove friend when two people are already friends and one person goes to another's profile, you want that button to say remove friend so they have that option. So to get that to work, I initialize a new variable here called friend link. And the section on the page where I'm working on profile.php, this is profile.php, in this section is where I think in video, the friend system tutorial series video three or four maybe, maybe even two, we set up this section to evaluate what content to place in the member interaction box. You remember that? Yes, you do. If you don't, go check. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. And then uh, all I did was add some SQL here. And then we're echoing out friend link instead of Remember we had two links right here that were very similar. One said private message, one said add friend. Now we're determining what this friend link is going to say since we want it optional now. We don't want it to always say add as friend. We want it to now say remove friend if they happen to be friends. But if they're not friends, we want it to say add as friend. So now let me show you here the code I put in place. And I had the SQL query, the person who is logged in and you'll notice I put it in the section of code that's the if condition for if the session ID is set and it does not equal the profile owner's ID. That means somebody else is logged in and they're looking at somebody else's profile. So this is where this code goes. And let me show it to you now. You can see it's around about eight, nine lines or ten lines or whatever. And let me explain it to you. And I kind of separated with code comments here. Nice orange line there that matches up with that one there. This is the SQL query, the friend array for the logged in viewer of this profile if it's not the owner. So we SQL array, we select the friend array from my members where ID equal the session ID, limit one. Then we gather that friend array from the database once we have access to that string that is the friend array we can explode it kaboom then we can check if this person is in that array already so if the person that they're viewing the profile of is in this person's friend array they're gonna get remove friend you see that very nice else they're not the friends yet so they get add friend the function there you will see toggle container add friend toggle container remove friend and that's how it works folks so that's how I got it to display on the site remove friend when two people are actually friends already they go to the site they go to their friends page they're gonna see remove friend link now let's go down here to the div interaction containers here we're gonna put a new one see this add friend Let's just copy that. Control C. Let's put it uh, right under that one. Why not? Remove friend. Very simple. Now let's just go into this little bit of code here and change the things we need to change here to make it a remove friend mechanism. Okay, so you can see I just quickly changed everything to make it to where, and even though the remove as friend function isn't even in the JavaScript yet I changed everything in here to work as a remove as friend mechanism to where the session ID user is requesting to remove this friend from their friend array okay here's the JavaScript function I just added it's very much like this one here I just kinda borrowed that same one I changed a couple of things around I just noticed that I had to change the name of that function to remove his friend and this had to be remove friend loader okay here's the code that takes care of removing both members from each other's arrays from 117 line 117 to 140 takes care of getting both arrays out of the database we query both arrays and then right here these two lines is where we're removing see here 
we're using string replace to remove each member ID from the others array that string by the end of it it removes both from each other's array string and then it makes sure there's no weird commas like double commas doubled up together after you remove an ID you want to make sure there's no commas doubled up together you want to make sure there's no commas in weird places within the array that gets thrown back into the database after removing them that's what all this code does and, and now we simply test I'm gonna to go to my profile and I'm gonna to go to my friend list here okay remove friend let's see if it works remove John Sean is your friend yes you are no longer friends with this member let me go back to my profile and let me check yep he's gone and somebody else is there and so that's how that works now the last thing we need is to show all friends I'm just gonna quickly make a page that when you go to it you'll be able to click a link somewhere around the friends section or the friends display here and it'll say view all so I'm just gonna make a page where you, when you press view all and it'll be in the new version 1.32 source package uh, I won't show it in video I'm just gonna make a quick little page that's gonna slice the array just like we did last time maybe slice it down to 50 and show f up to 50 people for now until we do a pagination setup for the array what we're gonna have to do is on that page make sure that we paginate that array because if somebody has a thousand friends you want that array to have pagination and not throw out all 1,000 people on the page at once okay but pretty much that seals it up that's how you can uh, set up the basics of a friend system and as we find bugs because bugs do crop up all the time as people are testing and using the software so as bugs crop up for this friend system we're gonna try to get the fixes in place for them, and then uh, bug fixes will be in the the later releases so once I put out version 1.32 all the bugs we find in 1.32 are going to be cured in 1.33 did you get it? that's how it works okay this uh, this series is over now we're gonna move on to stuff like private messaging forums and like I said these systems aren't 100 percent ready to go live they're not it's is a in production website the code isn't optimized and there are bugs that do crop up so you use it at your own risk peace homie